Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good people, good people, good people. We are on the... Today is 10th day in our 12 of the days novena for a life partner. That means we have got tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Friday is the 12th of the day. Closure mass is on Saturday. Saturday. I had to put it on Saturday with a purpose because it is important. We would have finished on Friday and, and conclude the same day. But I wanted, wanted to give you enough time to conclude the novena. Then we pray together on Saturday night. And therefore, on this, on this 10th day, I want to talk to your parents, your moms and your dads. On Monday, I addressed myself to the girls who want to get married. Yesterday, I talked to our gentlemen. And today, I want to talk to your moms and your dads. Dear moms and dads, your sons and daughters want to get married one day. I want to talk to you this day because I want you to be um, a responsibility partner. We can also call you an accountability partner. Be the reason why your son or daughter will make it in marriage. Please do not be the reason why your son or daughter will never make it in marriage. And because I know you mean well for your children, allow me to point out some five things that I think are necessary amongst many, many others. Number one, please teach your children to submit to your authority, to be submissive to your authority as a mother and as a dad. The tragedy we have today is that we have got parents who are actually fearing their children, who can't tell their children anything, for reasons I can't even understand. So you can imagine if your daughter does not even understand and respect your authority, where else will she ever fit? If your son cannot uh, respect your authority as, as his dad or mother, where else will they ever be able to fit? The moment you teach your sons and daughters to submit your, to your authority, you are actually preparing them. That when they go out there, there is a submission that is asked of them. And the first one we shall is that of Christianity. If you do not, your children will, be able, will not be able to function properly in the role of husband and wife. Because it, 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 it uh, demands from them submission to an authority. If your children have been trained to submit to God-ordained authority when they are young, your sons will have a problem submitting to authority of Christ. If at home they cannot submit to their own dad or even mother. Tell them about Christ, that becomes a foreign language to them. Please teach them. Let them know that to them, and let it be just spontaneous from their heart. That this is, mom is my authority, dad is my authority. But then there is a higher authority. That is my, my, my savior. And uh, once they understand that, they have no problem understanding authority later. Both of them. Number two, teach your children how to work and assume responsibility. Dear moms and dads, I know you love your children, no doubt. I know some of you are financially um, endowed and therefore you can do anything for your daughter. You can do anything for your, for your son. But for the sake of tomorrow, when you will not be there, please give them a chance to work. Give them a chance to earn their own money. Give them a chance to be on their own. Please stop puppeteering them now to an extent that they lose their identity. The greatest problem we have today, and allow me to address myself to our dear mothers. Mothers, largely, are in the forefront of people who mess marriages for their children. 
in verse, if, if you ask me, in fact, if you ask me, comparatively, to a tune of more than 88%, mothers are, con are responsible for breaking up of the children's uh, marriages and relationships. Why? Because some of them have a very tight grip to their children. Even after they got married, you still think that that is your small girl who has always been there with you. Dear mom, I have no problem with you loving your daughter. But please allow her to be someone's husband, a wife. Please do. Allow her to be a wife to someone. You raised her very well. You will remain her mom. I understand she will remain your daughter for as long as you live, even as you die. She'll always know you as a mother. But please release her. Release her, please. Stop keeping on holding her. Every day you are on her case. No. Allow her to raise her family the way she knows how. She has her God. We have trained her to become something before she becomes someone your sons, especially those of you whose firstborn sons are not married, mostly. And when I say this, not many mothers are so happy. But I say it not for you to get angry, but for you to get some point. Most firstborn sons, most firstborn sons, if not all of them, get spoiled in the hands of their mothers. If you didn't know, now you know. And I want to look around. See the marriages of firstborn sons which are not working. You may, you might, one thing that is so sure, you will find the hand of the mother in the, same, in, the, in the whole of that fiasco. The mother is missing that, that marriage. If it is your only son, marriages of only sons, again, are amazed by their mothers. Dear mothers, you may not like this. Unfortunately, it is so true. I live in this world. I don't live in heaven. I'm interacting with those men day and night. I'm interacting with those girls who are crying that, Father, my mother-in-law has killed my marriage. My mother-in-law is messing up our marriage. My mother-in-law is always on our case. Dear moms, thank you for loving your son. But please remember, you can only be a mother to him. He needs someone who is called a wife. You are not that person. You will never be that person. He may not be getting it so well in his marriage. Let him make mistakes and learn from them. Point them to a therapist or to a helper. Please don't go and mess his marriage. Don't go and do everything there uh, disregarding the wife. That when you go to visit your son, it is as if the wife is not, is not there. Or you treat her like a house help. No, please. Mom, one way of showing us that you love your son is giving him space. When he became a husband, boundaries were drawn. Why are you poking your nose in a household that is not yours? Why, mom? Mom, why? Why? Dear dads, I know some of you are also misbehaving. Every day you are writing messages to your children to send you money. And the money at home you have squandered, harassing and stressing their, their mother. Every morning you wake up. If you are not going to send you, uh, to send money, I'm going to curse you. You are cursing your children from morning, afternoon, at night. What kind of a dad are you? Even if you badly need money, there is a decent way of asking money from your children. Please remember, your son may be used to help you, but now he has some more responsibility. He has a wife. You have your own wife. Daddy, you have your own wife. Your son has a wife. Allow him to be. If he tells you, Daddy, I can't, have, I can't give you the 10,000 you are asking, Please ask him, what do you have in, in your pocket? If he has nothing, respect his, his nothingness. Tomorrow at a partner and a kupatia. Daddies, 
who you, whom you think that uh, the money for your daughter is yours. Your daughter has a husband. And now she does not have her own money. All the money she has belongs to her and the husband. If she used to help you, that was then, not now. That was then, not now. So, stop keeping on asking her money. If you seriously need money from your daughter every day, contact her husband. That way, we shall see that this man is serious in making the relationship and the marriage of his daughter work. But if every day your daughter wakes up to a message, daddy called. And so then, then she's trying to call back. Daddy, I have seen your miss call. Before you even greet her, eh, eh murieda, hamutumagi pesa, munataka nikufe, eh, nikikufa, muzikuja mazichi. Kwa ni mazichi ni, ni price giving. So every day you wake up cursing your children. If you're not cursing your daughter, you are cursing your son. When you're not cursing them, you are cursing their mother. Allah. You can't be a dad like that. You can't. Please, you can't do that, daddy. Daddies, you can't do that. Stop, stop, stop being a persecutor of your own children. Stop being tormentors to your sons. Stop being tormentors to your daughters. You have your wife. You can torment her if it gives you some grace and happiness. But please, allow your children to be. Give them that space. If you need money from your son who is married, let it be known even by the wife. And it must never be money by force or a curse. Money by force or a curse. If they don't give you because they don't have, even if you curse them, that curse will have a boomerang effect. Utakufa wewe si watoto wako. Take it from Father CK. You cannot curse children who have done everything to help you and then you think the curse will attach it is, it, itself to them. No. The curse has a boomerang effect. The same to our mothers. Dear moms, if you think that by harassing your children, by telling them that you'll curse them, that they'll get in a curse, I'm sorry. Your sons and daughters are doing everything. And you are telling them that you are going to curse them. That curse will come back to you. Moms and daddies. Help your children to, to, assume, responsibility. Children to, to, to assume responsibility. Don't curse them. If they have nothing, it's okay. Tomorrow they'll have. I'll pick it up from there tomorrow morning. But I'll keep on telling you, mummies and daddies, you have a duty. Not just to pray. Remove your hands. Odoeni mikonoyenyu katika doa za watotoenyu. Remove your hands in the marriages of your sons and daughters. She is your daughter. And you are not the husband. She is your, he is your son. And you can't be a wife. Once you understand that, dear daddies, that man is your son. But now he is a husband. That girl is your daughter. Now she is a wife. And you have your own wife. Kila mtu, aede kwa bibi yake. Ala. Ni hayo tu kwa sasa, na itagu wa Father CK. Katika hii dunia. Father, son, and Holy Spirit. Tomorrow to get ena.